going to continue learning about airbrush textures, hair texture, and wrinkles or micro shapes. Now I've made up a little helpful guide for you kiddies out there. Stuff waiting. If you can see that, I've added little crosses in the areas that are all going to be black. So I'm just looking at these darkest parts of the hair and I'm going to fill them in where I've done the crosses. Now I'm going to go in and add a little bit of dimension. Two lines at a large height coming at this angle down from the top of the hair and one coming from the bottom up. Only very light but this adds dimension to it. So how's the texture actually created? Well, let's have a quick look. Just grab another piece of paper here for you. Hair texture is most easily created by doing very fast dagger strokes and lines back and forth. We're actually going to offset every couple of hairs so that it's flowing in the same direction but not too perfect. Dagger strokes back this way, dagger strokes back that way. It may be easier to hold your airbrush on an angle because I find that you can get sharper dagger strokes this way. So let's finish the exercise sheet. You always get a better result when you blend your effects out from the darkest area. And to finish off hair texture, I always like to go over it with a series of super fine lines. So go fast and pull back, say halfway on the trigger. And that's hair texture complete. And now for wrinkles. Why do we call them micro shapes? Because really all wrinkles are is a series of small blends merging together. It's not created with any special figure eight movement. It's not created by whizzing back and forth with dagger strokes. It's created by painting what you see. Focus more on your shadows and highlights as well. At the edge of every shadow is a highlight. So for example, this line here blends out in that direction. There's a highlight directly on this side, as you can see in the reference. So to finish off the wrinkles, all I have done is gone over with a little bit of figure eight texture. You can see how light it is, or not see how light it is. So light. So let's take a look at a good example of where hair texture might be used. Here's a little something I've prepared earlier. So you can see I've just done the basic shapes of the hair, the darkest areas, not so much here, you'll see me do that. However, I really just have to go in and add the detail to the hair. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create some very interesting textures. We're going to cover stone texture, and then I'll even show you how to do some wood. And hey, I've got to say thank you for the first 100 Facebook likes. Hey? Round of applause, everybody. Thank you very much for watching and supporting. Keep spreading the love. Bye-bye.